hello student in this video we will start the new chapter of history chapter 3 nazism and the rise of hitler before talking about the nazism and the rise of hitler i will tell you a story in 1945 a little 11 year old german boy called helmut was laying in bed when he overheard his parents discussing a serious matter his father deliberated with his wife whether the time had come to kill the entire family or if he should commit suicide alone the next day he took helmer to the woods where they spent their last happy time together and later helmer's father showed himself in his office and helmer remembers that his he saw his brother's bloody uniform that was burned in the family fireplace and this incident horrified the helmet enough that he reacted by refusing to eat at home for the next 9 years because he was afraid that his mother might poison him do you know what happened to him he not knows that his father had been a nazi and a supporter of adolf hitler and many of us also know something about the nazi and a hitler means Hitler is a determination to make Germany a mighty power and his ambition of conquering all of Europe. He also heard that he killed Jews, but Nazism was not one or two isolated actor. It was a system, means a structure of idea about the world and the politics. And in this chapter we will discuss about what is a Nazism and we will also discuss why Helmer's father killed himself and what the basis of his in may 1945 germany surrendered to the allies powers means the allied power led by the uk and of france and hitler and his propaganda minister goebbels had his entire family committed suicide in his berlin bunker in april and at the end of the war an international military tribunal at nuremberg was set up to prosecute nazi war criminals for crime against peace for war crimes and crime against humanity means germany conducted during the war especially those action which came to be called crime against humanity raised serious moral and ethical questions and invited worldwide condemnations what were these act under the war crime against humanity the germany had waged a genocidal war means they killed a large scale destruction of large section of people means a number of people killed included 6 million jews 2 lakh gypsies 1 million polish civilians 70000 germans who were considered mentally and physically disabled and nazi device an unprecedented means of killing people the nuremberg tribunal sentenced only 11 leading nazis to death many others were imprisoned for life the retribution did come yet the punishment of the nazis was far short of the brutality and extent of their crimes the allies did not want to be as harsh on defeating germany as they had been after the first world war and what happened we will discuss further germany was a powerful empire in the early 20th century and it fought the first war in 1914 alongside the austrian empire and that was against the allies power that consists the countries england france and the russia all joined the war very hopefully to gain from a quick victory but no one realized that the war would stretch on firstly germany made initial gains by occupying france and belgium but when in 1970 us entered into the allies power the germany defeated and the central powers also defeated in the november 1918 the defeat of the imperial germany and the abdication of the emperor gave an opportunity to parliamentary parties to recast german political a national assembly that was met at weimar established a democratic constitution with the federal structures deputies were now elected to the german parliament that was known as a reichstag on the basis of equal and the universal post that cast by all adults including women but this republic was not well received by its people because the terms it was forced to accept after germany's defeat at the end of the first world war 
the peace treaty that was signed at Versailles with the Allies was a harsh and humiliating peace. Germany lost its overseas colonies, a tenth of its population, 13% of its territory, and 75% of its iron, 26% of its coal to France, Poland, Denmark, and Lithuania. The Allied power demilitarized Germany to weaken its power, and that war killed close held Germany responsible for the war and damages of the Allied countries suffered. German was forced to pay compensation also that was amount 6 billion mark. The Allied armies also occupied the resource rich city of the Germany that was known as Rhineland for much of the 1920s. Many Germans held a new Weimar Republic responsible for not only the defeat in the war but the disgrace at Versailles also. What was the effect of the war at the Germany's economic and the political situations that we will discuss in the next video. Topic related these question answers you have to do on your fair notebook.